so now since we had discussed the value of the smallest division on the vertical pitch scale that was 1 mm and what am I talking about I am talking about this particular part right so this is 0 and then just after that we have 1 mm so between 0 to 10 this is 1 centimeter so this is 10 mm so the first division is 1 mm correct so now what I had already done is done was that I had moved this screw gauge for five complete rotations and I saw that the distance moved was 5 mm so after moving the scale five times circular scale five times we noted that the linear distance traveled was 5 mm now the pitch is that is 5 mm upon 5 so that is again 1 mm okay so total number of divisions in circular scale we have 0 to 100 so we have 100 divisions over here now least count least count is pitch upon number of divisions so pitch is 1 mm divided by 100 so this is 0 0.0 zero 01 mm so in short it will be 0 point this is in centimeters 0 0.001 centimeter now the next thing is what we are supposed to do is determination of the length l from the equilateral triangle abc so for that what we need to do is we need to put this gently on any paper surface and then from the top just press it bit hard so you will see that the legs they imprint at three different locations like this and as you can see that the legs are very sharp right these are going to be imprinted over here now we will connect it with the help of scale then we are going to find the length of AB, AC and BC it should be an equilateral triangle there are two parts in which you are supposed to perform this experiment this ferrometer has to be kept on the horizontal surface and then some amount of readings are supposed to be taken and then this is our spherical watch glass surface on on which we are going to mount it and then we will take the respective readings and we'll note it down over here correct now one thing that we need to understand is you can put this ferrometer on this side or on this side it does not matter you are going to get the same answer and I prefer to put it on this part right this bulged part you can also try it on the other side to get the answer that's totally fine but one tricky part that you need to understand is what is Y over here because this can be different in two different cases so everybody understands that what is pitch scale reading pitch scale reading means it is also referred as main scale reading so for the main scale we'll be looking over here correct and where it matches with the circular scale that is referred as our main scale or the pitch scale reading then our circular scale reading would be whichsoever division that matches with this main scale that would be our circular scale reading and we have since calculated the least count so rest will follow very easily correct so now let me tell you one important thing about two types of rotation clockwise or anti-clockwise rotation now we need to understand this that if I am rotating if I am rotating suppose in clockwise direction then if I am rotating in the clockwise direction initially the zero must be matching with the 
main scale over here now if i try to rotate in clockwise direction and suppose you stop at 80 and this now 80th division matches with your main scale so that means what should be the value of y why are the number of divisions moved so how many divisions are have the circular scale moved it is 20 see this was 0 and this is 80 so by 20 divisions you have moved along clockwise direction correct so that means simply if you are using the clockwise rotation then you will have to do 100 minus this reading and that will be your y but now suppose if we are back to again 0 and if you prefer to move it in anti-clockwise direction like this then everything is fine and suppose you stop at 30 so that means the circular scale has moved by 30 divisions in the anti-clockwise direction so if you are using your anti-clockwise mode then simply the number displayed over here which matches with the main scale is your y but if you are using the clockwise rotation then 100 minus this division would be your y so i am using this rectangular piece of this plane mirror and its back side i am using it as a plane surface first of all i am going to put it over here then take some readings that i'll show you and then after i am going to put it on the spherical surface and then the readings would be made you can do either of the ways to, that's totally fine but i am preferring it to put it on the horizontal surface then take the readings and then put it on the spherical surface so now what am i going to do this is set at zero 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 of the main scale is coinciding with the zero of the circular scale now i'm going to take it slightly high i'm going to turn it in the anti-clockwise direction so the circular scale starts moving up till about 5 mm correct so i'm going to move it in the anti-clockwise direction and you can see that the leg goes up till about 4 to 5 mm that's totally fine no need to take any readings over here right it's almost 5 mm and there is too much space over here as this piece of paper can easily pass through now now is very important thing you again hold this rigidly apply some pressure on it right and then again start moving this in the clockwise direction so if you start moving it in the clockwise direction the leg will start coming down as you can see this is in the clockwise direction and then keep on doing until see your hand the two fingers must apply less force while turning and the moment this tip will touch the plane mirror back side of the plane mirror it will stop then don't apply too much pressure and try to turn it so again just give a flip and now it stops it locks itself and I will check the paper does not pass so these are the readings that we are supposed to take now what is the main scale reading over here so which coincides with the circular scale it is 0 mm correct then I am going to note down and this is our reading on the horizontal surface pitch scale reading or main scale reading which is x1 that is 0 mm in the observation table everything is given in centimeters we are going to convert it now at the same time what is the circular scale division that you are going to record so that I am going to show you over here as seen from the top view it is clear that this is 0 then this is first second third and this one is the fourth division so this is the fourth division which is matching with our main scale so this fourth division since I was moving this in the anti-clockwise direction this is 96th division so 100 minus 96 is 4 so the circular scale is actually moved by 4 divisions correct so that is what I am going to note it down so this one is the fourth division circular scale division that is matching and then 4 into the least count this is 4 into 0 0.001 centimeters so this is 0 
4 cm. You can see that I am filling it under the horizontal plane surface. Now H2 is x plus z, x is this one. So this plus this is our H2. So it is simply this plus this that is 0 0.004 centimeters. Now we will switch over for the spherical surface reading. Now with the same spherometer, we are going to put it on the spherical surface. So it is going to topple a little bit. So what we are going to do is we are again going to turn this in the anti-clockwise direction. So the circular scale will start moving up till at about 5 mm. This readings are not to be taken, right? So you can even move it higher or lower than that. That's totally fine. Now I'm going to put it over the spherical surface. I'm going to apply somewhat pressure and then I will start turning it in the clockwise direction. So now since I am turning this into the clockwise direction, it has started to go down, the leg has started to go down and I will give it a gentle force unless this tip touches the spherical surface. So like this, now don't apply too much pressure, it has already touched and now to check this, yes. So what I have done is, I will show it again, the main scale reading, is 2. The pitch scale reading or MSR main scale reading that was 2 mm. So it will be 0 0.2 centimeters. Correct. Now let me show you the circular scale reading over here. Now since I had rotated this in the clockwise direction to bring it down, this is the 46th division this is 40, then this is 45, 46th division is coinciding. So since this is the 46th division over here, then the over here the y would be 100 minus 46, so that is 54. And then this 54 multiplied by the least count that is 0 0.001, 0 0.054 centimeters. Now our H1 reading is x plus z, this is x, this is z, so it will be 0 0.254 centimeters. Now plugging in the value of H2 minus H1, now this is H2 and this is H1. If your answer is coming negative, please ignore the sign. So H2 minus H1, this will be 0 0.25, yes. This is 0 0.25 centimeters. So that is what I am going to plug in over here. 0 0.25 centimeter divided by 2 plus this L was the average value which was 4.46 centimeters. So this is square times the 6H. So this is 6 times H is against 0 0.25 centimeter. So this is 0 0.125 centimeter and if you solve this part you will get this as 13.26 centimeter. So the radius of curvature is the addition of these two. So that is 13.386 centimeter 386 centimeter which is the radius of the watch class that we had taken. So I hope the experiment was clear. If you have any doubts Please do comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching.